What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. Today we'll be showing you guys some car parts that I've waited really, really long for. You know how they say overnight parts in Japan? This is the total opposite. This is more like a super long wait from parts from Japan. So without further ado, let's talk about what we have and why it took so long. Okay, so right over here, I have some parts that I've been waiting for in Japan and it took a year and a half to get to me. So, if you guys know rare JDM parts, like we have various, uh, we have stuff like Jace Racing, we have Bride. I love my JDM brands and Race too, Race Wheels. So the thing is, parts in Japan, while they are rare, they're desirable, they usually do take a long time. Um, a lot of times you can just, like a various for example, you can't just buy various parts from a various website in the US. You have to buy it through like a distributor in the US. So companies like uh, Bulletproof Automotive, Evasive Motorsports, you know, some of the uh, um, companies that kind of import it here to the US. Uh, so parts like this, this is actually from Art of Attack. That's a company based in California. Uh, what I have in here are Voltex parts. So you guys know, I love, love, love my Voltex parts. And for those of you guys who are new to Voltex parts, I do have a Voltex Type 4 carbon fiber wing on my Mitsubishi Lancer build. Authentic Voltex wing. Uh, we also do have a Voltex steering wheel. It'll be hard to see, but it's a Nardi Voltex collaboration steering wheel in the turbo build. And then on the S2000, we do have an entire Voltex racing front bumper. So all authentic Voltex racing parts. Um, this is the FRP bumper with the carbon fiber front lip. So this Voltex bumper I got off uh, Evasive Motorsports. Well, I should say I got it off a guy who bought it from Evasive Motorsports. But he sold his S2000 because the wait was so long. So I got lucky with that. Didn't really have to wait. Uh, Voltex steering wheel. I got it from a guy who resale sold it. Voltex Type 4 wing. I got it from my buddy Maverick who ordered it for his Subaru WRX show build. So I didn't really have to wait so long for Voltex parts. But this part right here, I ordered for the S2000. Uh, just to give you a rough idea, I ordered this in July 2022. Whenever I got the S2000, uh, you know, a few months into the build, I ordered this. And uh, the wait took quite literally a year and a half. Uh, my brother did also order a Voltex wing from Art of Attack for his Mark V Supra. A similar wing from Voltex and it took him two years before he got it so pretty insane so if you guys are wondering why parts from Japan take so long so firstly a lot of these parts are made to order what that means is you place your order through the US distributor uh, Art of Attack for example they have to communicate with the company Voltex and then they'll have to make it usually from what I know it could take like four or five months or so to make these parts um, and then, you know, after COVID, a lot of the supply chain delays, so materials and all that might be delayed. So besides taking a few months to make these products, um, whenever they're ready, um, it also takes a few months to ship because usually from what I understand, they ship by sea in a container, not just my part, but like, you know, parts for other people as well. So that usually also takes another few months. Um, so it's just a long wait. Even if you're trying to buy stuff like race wheels, like T37s, for example, uh, the weight on them on average is like a year to two years, I would say, for Japanese parts. So when they say overnight parts in Japan, unless you have a connect in Japan, super lucky. Otherwise, if they are pretty rare parts, uh, good luck, because it's going to take a while. It's really a patience game. All right, without further ado, I know I've been rambling quite a lot. Let's show you guys what we have in here. So this Voltex part is for the Honda S2000. Uh, let's show you guys. I already did open it up to check it out, but let's show you guys what we have in here. So it's a fairly small box. So Voltex sticker. Uh, you have your little instruction manual in Japanese. Don't need that. Don't know how to read that. Um, another Voltex badge sticker. We have some hardware, some bolts, nuts, and yes, yeah, this is actually what it is right here. Voltex S2000 single canard. 
Yes, what we have in here are Voltex Racing carbon fiber canards. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging and show you guys what we have. All right, so here it is. If you guys are wondering what these red dots are, that's the uh, spots that are marked for you guys to drill. Um, but here is my Voltex carbon fiber canard. It is gloss wet carbon on the top. On the bottom is actually a nice uh, dry carbon. So last gloss, no gloss. So this is a direct fit on the Voltex Racing front bumper that we have on the S2000. Um, so this part itself, even though it's just a simple canard, because it's from Voltex, it takes forever. The part itself is also expensive. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys one side, but it does come with both left and right side. Uh, this part itself alone, I wanna say costs about seven, eight hundred dollars. So it's pretty expensive. Definitely the most expensive canards I've ever bought. All right, so roughly mocked it up, I believe this is how it goes. So as you can tell, fitment is nice and flush and that's because this uh, canard is made specifically for the Voltex Racing front bumper. Ah, oh, it looks so aggressive. What do you guys think? Carbon canards matching the carbon front lip. Okay, so this is a super rough mock-up. I pretty much had it uh, balancing on some boxes, but this is a very rough mock-up of how the front bumper will look. Bumper with the canard come around on the other side. This is without the canard. Do you guys think without the canard, cleaner looks better? Or do you guys think with the canard, aggressive looks better? Here's another angle. Ignore the boxes on the bottom, like I said. I personally think that it looks aggressive, the canards. But, as of right now, the car is pretty OEM plus. So, I don't know. Um, if we do mount the canards, we do have to drill some holes in the Voltex Racing bumper. Uh, so I think the Voltex Racing bumper is already a step up from the OEM bumper in how aggressive it looks. If I really do want to rock the canard setup, um, I feel like I do want to make the car a little more aggressive too. So like a carbon fiber hood, maybe some carbon fenders, you know, a big wing. So that's going to be a whole different look for the S2000. So what do you guys think? Should I keep the OEM plus look kind of like how it is right now? Or should I enter the next phase with a really like aggressive look kind of like a time attack look just like how the mitsubishi lancer build is you know super aggressive looking uh, aggressive arrow and everything what do you guys think all right for now we're just gonna leave the canards back in the box we're not gonna install it or anything today but i just wanted to show you guys some not so overnight parts that we got from japan uh, so hope you guys like it again leave in the comment section below do you think i should go the aggressive setup with the canards or leave it oem plus um, I've always wanted to go with the aggressive setup, but quite frankly, because of the wing, we have the Voltex Racing Type 2 wing here that was supposed to go in the S2000, didn't fit too well, so ever since that happened, I was like, maybe I'll just rock the OEM Plus setup for a while, just to enjoy it, um, not too obnoxious looking, and then whenever I decide to go full arrow and aggressive, big wing, you know, um, splitter, hood, and all that stuff, then I'll throw in the canards. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you need a channel. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.